Hello friends, this is Joy Banerjee and today we will see how we can add a AD user to a single sign-on group. Okay, so we will do uh, all the stuff from vSphere web client. Okay, so let me log into the vSphere web client first. So this is the default user ID and password uh, which I have created while installation. This is administrator at the rate vSphere local and then the password. So it will take some uh, time to really authenticate with the server. Okay. So meanwhile it get authenticated. So uh, what we will do is, it is also initializing it, right? So um, I will go to the AD server and create a user ID. Okay. So this is my um, AD server. So I am just adding a new user to it as test user. Next, so we'll add a password. Okay, next, finish. Okay, so now uh, you can see my console has been opened. Okay, so for that, to add anything in a SSO user group, so we need to go uh, to the administration. Okay, so into the single sign on section, I need to go to users and groups. Okay, so after that, I need to go. Um, if, uh, if you see here, this is a user section, I can see these are the users which I've created. And if I uh, in the drop down menu, if I uh, select the Active Directory, I can see the Active Directory users also. You can see uh, this is a test user which I created just now. The list is here. Okay. So what is our task is to add a user to this administrative group which is there in vSphere local, which is a SSO group. Okay. So that we can manage uh, a vSphere console um, from an Active Directory user. Okay. So the Active Directory user can authenticate. To do that, I need to go to groups, then select the group which I need to add. Then I will click here. So in the drop down menu, I will I need to select the AIK lab with local, which is my domain. Okay. And from here I can search. Let's say I will add Joy. Okay. So Joy is the user. Uh, I can see this is the user. Okay. So I will add it. So to add the user, you just need to select and click add. Okay. And after that, click OK. So you can see a task is running. So once the task has been completed, I can see a user being added here. Okay. So you can see, okay, uh, the user has been added. So now I can uh, log in with this AD user and manage the whole uh, vSphere console. So I believe uh, this is an informative video for you. So I will be adding more videos. So please subscribe my YouTube channel to get more videos. Thank you.